Hello, welcome to another video where today I'm going to give you a quick tip on what is probably one of the best ways to manage and deal with invasive species. And that is to adapt a strategy used by the local wildlife, in this case the beaver. You see, when beavers gnaw down trees or other brush, they tend to do it several inches to a foot above the ground. And this behavior, whether intentional by the beavers or evolved by the plants over time to cope with this, tends to lead to re-sprouting. So what does any of this have to do with invasive species? They're invasive, we don't want them to re-sprout. Well, yes and no. Thing is, invasive species are tenacious, they're going to re-sprout anyway. But if you can force them to re-sprout in a very predictable manner, you can use that. Because when you cut plants in this way, when they re-sprout, they tend to do it up the stem, as opposed to towards the base. And it's real easy to just break it off. Now sometimes, even when you cut it up high, it will still re-sprout towards the base. But if you cut it super low, then that's the only spot that it can re-sprout, so this is still better. It also tends to help you remember to do your due diligence. The taller they are, the easier they are to spot. In fact, it was actually quite difficult to find an example to show you guys because, well, all the ones on my normal paths are already taken care of. If you do cut it close to the ground, here's what tends to happen. Take, for example, this multiflora rose. I cut it quite low to the ground, and as you can see, some of the sprouts grew up in areas where I can't quite as easily rip them off. It's much more difficult. It blends in far more with the environment, and if I wanted to deal with this, I'd probably have to use clippers. I can't do it by hand. You may think it's best to try and do as much damage as you can by getting it super low to the ground the first time, but in my experience, you're going to need a double tap anyway, so you might as well make that one as easy as can be. Well, at least that's my take on it. As always, I do hope you've learned something, and I wish you the best. Till next time.